Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my bo uh, June's boxy charm with you guys. I got it in the mail the other day. I originally didn't really plan on doing this video after I got attacked by my cat. But everything is going a lot better now. And I figured I'd just go ahead and do my video. Um, on the cat deal, I ended up after it was Wednesday, I got attacked, or not really attacked, uh, I broke the cat, tried to break two cats up, and one uh, thought, I guess I was going to hurt it, and he attacked me, but everything worked out, I did have to go, end up going to the hospital Saturday, um, they, I stayed there all day, they wanted to keep me, but I ended up getting to come home because I had my kids with me, and he said since I had the kids, that he didn't want for me to go home, but he figured if I'd come uh, straight back Sunday morning, be there um, at 12 o'clock. Uh, I think his shift started at 12. He said just be there at 12. And uh, just to make sure I started uh, my treatment. And I done what he said, and I went back Sunday. And I stayed there half the day, and they ended up letting me come home. And they... Um, Fiction dropped by a couple of points and stuff, but it is starting like my neck is like looking so much better. Uh, and, uh, and then right here, like this was kind of funny because, like, every time I went to clean it or something, it felt like movement like all the way up to here. But this is like the worst part, and I mean, it kind of scared me, and that's where he had uh, bit me at. And I don't know, I've learned my lesson, I'll never intervene between two cats fighting again but we're gonna go ahead and start this video i was very excited about getting this box this month because um i love luxie brushes and here they are i did open them and i did use one of them i do have um it is the i think it's called the dream catcher series um foundation brush. It's like the periwinkle color. But I've got a bunch of the um, pink uh, rose gold collection. I, get, I think they have the rose gold and I also think they have the uh, dream catcher. That's really the only two I've, uh, series I've seen from them. But in this pack, you got three. You got a 516 duo fiber brush. You can see like the hairs are messed up just a little bit, but not really like enough to hurt it. But, let me see. And the next one is the highlighter brush. It's a 522 and it's the one I used. And I was needing a new highlighter brush. I did order uh, me a set uh, the other day and got them. And it was the fan highlighter brush. But I do like these kind better. And the last one is the Precision uh, Foundation Brush. And it is a 660. I think it in the um, Dreamcatcher. I think the Dreamcatcher might actually be maybe a little bit bigger. I'm thinking it's like the top of it is just shaped slightly different. And I love that brush. So... I think I'll like this, but I do normally use my beauty blender. Uh, sometimes, like, Thursday, I know, because I was, like, trying to avoid um, my bad areas, I used uh, my Dreamcatcher one, and, because it worked really good, I didn't get no foundation or nothing around uh, my wound. But the next thing is, is by Battleton, Battleton, yep, Lashes. And, oh my God, these are gorgeous. They come in this nice little box. Um, I just love these lashes. So, this month, we're supposed to get, like, um, six things again, like we did last month. And I was really excited, excited about that. I just have to say, for $21 a month, this box... I mean, normally one item covers itself. I mean, this is like my favorite subscription box. I wish I could find another box uh, that could even compare to this, but it's very hard to find. 
So my next thing is my Orpha. And I think it is a long lasting liquid lipstick. And we'll go ahead and do a swatch. I really like this color. And it is um, Verona. So it's a nice pretty color. But I bought some, um, I went shopping, oh god, I think it was Saturday, Sunday, uh, every time I got released from the hospital, I went shopping, um, and I did buy a bunch of drugstore makeup, and I'm telling you, I bought some lipstick that is just, I fell asleep in it last night, and I had it on like half the day yesterday, and it stayed on, and it is by Lori, it, L'Oreal, oh my god, that stuff is just so good. Still had it on this morning. It was freaky. And the next thing is a Joan to Blue. I don't know. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. And it is a eyeliner in dark brown. I'm not really crazy about browns, but it is dark, so I think that will work for me. Actually, most days I wear black, but now sometimes I do like to, like, do, like, maybe, like, purple or another color, like, right below my waterline. Okay, so our next thing is by So, and this is the Bum Bum Cream. I love this stuff. I just ran out of mine. And I was glad to get this. I wish it had been a full size. But, you know, for $21 a month, what do you expect? So, there, here it is. And I absolutely love the smell of this. And it just, I mean, it works like a dream. I love it. So our last thing is the eyeshadow palette, and I know I'm not gonna pronounce this right. I think it's Ella Ella Mar. Yeah, I think. Okay, and so here it is. I mean, I have already swatched these, but this palette, I'm gonna tell you something, people. It is like so pigmented. I mean, look at that. I mean, and it just goes on like. I mean, this is wonderful eyeshadow. And here's one of the matte colors. I mean, it's not patchy. It's easy to work with. It blends good. Um, I'm not bored it yet, but just by doing it on my, like doing swatches, I've seen how good it blend. I mean, I am in love with this eyeshadow palette. And I really like the colors. I think they're fun summertime colors. And also, over here, um, in August, and when fall comes, these will be great fall colors. So this uh, palette will work for right now in for summer and it'll work if we sit uh in the fall so i am in love with that but we're gonna go ahead and get started with the try on portion and i have already primed my face with um benefits pore um professional primer um i used the pearl one i laid it down somewhere I ended up, um, I bought these three this month, um, to try them out because I'd never tried the Benefit Primer. I've used, like, um, a bunch of different ones, but I wanted to give it a try because I've got some pores that I don't like showing, but normally they don't really take much to cover them. But we are going to go ahead and jump into this. So let me get my foundation. Okay. 
Now I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation. Let me scoot you guys in a little closer if I can. I've got a vanity to work at, but I don't know. I think the lighting's better in here. I am putting new lights in in my bedroom, but I do think I like the lighting better in here. I think Luxie's brushes are like some of my favorite. The only part I don't like about brushes is like when I do my nose, I do feel like with, and it goes with any brush I'm using, I feel like I'm getting like a streak. Like I don't know, like first time you use a, a brush, I don't know if it's me or something, it feels like uh, you lose some of the foundation that you're working with. But normally with this foundation, I do normally do uh, two coats of it uh, just to make sure like where I've got freckles. So as you can tell, these brushes like does a really good job. But I am going to, because you can see like at my nose and stuff, I am going to take my beauty blender and I did just have it. Is that, I don't think I really have like any street. Go ahead and give this face a quick. Don't have no, uh, like no lines, no creasing, no nothing. Besides using, um, Eyeshadow primer today. I'm just gonna uh, put some concealer on my eyelids and do it like that. Because I don't think I'm not really worried about the eyeshadow not working. I'll let now. Okay, so, I really don't know what kind of look I want to do yet. I haven't, and I figured, I, like any day I start doing makeup, do my makeup, I just go with the flow, and I guess that's what I am going to do today. Now, I am going to take my Luxie, do, uh, 249 and I think I'm going to go in with Coco Taxi and I don't think you take really a lot of this eyeshadow to work And I'm not really like noticing a lot of fallout or anything with it. Okay. Okay. So. I'm really trying to figure out what kind of look I want it. I was going to use the blue, but I don't know. I think I will use this 
like reddish color at the bottom, like a dark red. It is called Guana. I can't pronounce it. Ooh. Then I'm gonna go in like rod right at the crease, into the crease with this one. I really love how good these colors shows up. Okay. Trying to find my smaller blending brush. I have probably packed it off somewhere, knowing me. I'm going to use this taper blending brush and go in with um, the brown color at the bottom. And you pick up a lot. And I'm just going to go like a little bit in and work back down. Like, I'm going, like, right below my crease. Then angling it back, like, back up. Or over, not up. I mean, everything is blending so good. Then I'm going to take the same brush, and I'm going to take the same brown, and I am just going to bring it right under my eyes a little bit. Not much, because I don't really want all that dark color doing the whole under eye. Okay, then I'm going to take the, um, the light orange, and I am going to bring it up a little bit, add a little bit more of a dramatic look. And I think I will also, uh, take, um, that dark red and I will I'm gonna blend a little bit more of it in there to make it pop out a little bit more and the And I'm not going to blend much more of it back in, just a little bit. But I am going to bring it up just a little bit. Okay. So I'm liking that. And I'm going to take this orangey color right here. And do my underneath my eyes. Okay, so I've got that. And the last thing I'm going to do on my uh, color is I've decided to go in with the silver that it is called 
El Macon, or I know I'm not pronouncing these right, but that is okay. And what I'm going to do is take some concealer. Well, maybe some concealer. Yes, I'm going to take some concealer and go in a little bit with it down here on the bottom. So I'm just going to pat that out. And I don't know if it'd be best. Let me see. Which, this was probably a waste of time. I should have took my fingertips because I find when you're doing with shimmers, it's best to take your fingertips seems like it makes a better impact but this is doing it really good so and I really liked how this palette had some shimmer some um, mattes I mean this palette really went really really well together I mean, that is looking so good. I know I've watched some videos. I've seen a lot of people have done the blue. And I really, oh, when I first seen that I was getting a palette, I was thinking about doing something with the blue. But I'm, like, really glad I tried this because I am really liking this. Okay. So, I'm done with that. And our next thing we got is the eyeliner. And I am going to use it on my bottom. Which I'll let it go right outside. The waterline, I done that on purpose. Okay. So the next thing is the lashes. And I will be putting these on off camera because there's no way... I could get them on on camera. I can do it, but it's like I get if I'm on camera, I'm gonna get nervous. So I'll be right back with my mascara and my eyeliner on and my lashes. Okay, so I am back now with my lashes on, my mascara and my eyeliner. I ended up going with a black eyeliner to darken it up some more. And these lashes, I mean, I am loving these. These are beautiful. But I ended up um, going back to the palette. I darkened up the corners and uh, brought up the um, silver some more because I wanted a more, with these lashes, I needed a more dramatic look. Then I ended up taking the dark blue shimmer right here and doing right under my eye because I want it more of a pop. So, this is the look I came up with here. And, I mean, these lashes, I mean, they are gorgeous. This eyeshadow palette, this has been one of my favorite boxes that I've got from Boxy Charm so far. But, I mean, it's like every month you get something wonderful. 
So we are going to move on to the lipstick. And I just had it in my hands. Okay. So I got the Orpha in Verna. And I don't think I'll use it. I did bring some bring a liner with me, but I don't think I'll use it. Like I'll just I mean, this color is gorgeous, and it goes with this. I mean, everything in this palette goes so good together. So here is my lips. This formula, you do have to let it uh, dry down, and it is supposed to be a long-lasting. I don't know the light. I do not know what's going on with these lights right now. But this is what I got. Okay, so we've got the one last item here, and it is the bum bum cream and really I mean just take a little bit and you can use it on your face as a moisturizer if you want it to I use it for just you know regular body lotion but it's really up to you and what you prefer but this is um the look I came up with this month in my boxy charm, and I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thank you guys for watching, and you guys have a wonderful day.